Good evening, and welcome to Know Your School Night. My name is Mr. Arguello. I uh, will be teaching the World History Dual Language Program uh, here at Burn Code High School. Uh, this is a new program, so we are starting off the year uh, in a very exploratory mood, and uh, I am trying to give you the most information that I can while knowing that a lot of the course details have not been flushed out yet. Um, so uh, just to begin with, below you can see my contact information, my school issued email address, website, and uh, phone number. Feel free to use those at, at any time. Um, you can leave a message and I'll usually get back to you within the most 24 hours. Uh, and I can always speak Spanish if it is needed. Um, in this video, we're going to be covering uh, just the course topics. Again, this is world history, so we begin with world religions, as your students uh, have already completed. And now we begin building uh, our knowledge of history from about 1200 to the present. Uh, this version of world history does have a large focus on uh, European perspectives, uh, but I'm doing my best to incorporate as much uh, history as I can from other regions of the world to make a well-rounded student. Um, we will be going into the Black Death next and uh, transitioning into the colonial period after that. Um, one of the big aspects of this course that I would like your students to uh, complete this year is learning research skills as well as conducting uh, most of their learning through project-based learning. Uh, the idea being that your student should not be spending all their time on their computer and will hopefully be working some of their time uh, in groups or on some sort of project that they can then present to their classmates, working on those skills as well for presentations. Um, we will be working on their writing. Um, this is a year that we use to get ready for the state uh, MCAS test and we will be working on improving all their writings to more than uh, excellence levels so that they are not worried about the exam in any shape, way, or form. Uh, most of my class, while I do have a class website where you can follow the daily agendas, etc., uh, most of the course material will be presented in Google Classroom. Uh, this is where your student will be communicating with me. Um, you will know if they're in my class with the Diego Rivera um, painting in the background there. Um, also, the class is completely in Spanish, so you will notice that a lot of the assignments are written in Spanish, uh, which may make it more difficult for some of you to follow the course. If you do have any questions, feel free to contact me directly. Um, this feed has everything that we've accomplished so far this quarter. Um, every week your student does have to do a current event activity where they need to follow the news, read the news in Spanish, and present uh, some, fill out a worksheet showing me that they've understood the material. Um, these are done every Friday. Uh, it's their Friday activity for asynchronous learning. Um, as we return back to the class, a few things you may notice is the classwork. This, on this tab, you can see your students' uh, actual grades. If you click on their classwork tab, you'll see view your work for your students. That is the best way for you to see your students' progress in the course, as well as any of their missing work or uh, comments I may have given them. While there are weekly parental emails that do go out, they're not as fully informative as uh, forcing your child to show you their current state of their classroom 
as well as any of the comments that I have given for all the work that we are working on. Um, my grading policy is a weighted uh, breakdown. So those current events that are done weekly on Fridays only work to 10% of their grade. I see it more as a boost to their grade than a hindrance. Um, but they do need to be knowledgeable of current events because we build a lot of connections between the real world and our text that we learn in school. Uh, there will be exams or uh, exam-like uh, grades. Uh, for example, sometimes we do essays, sometimes we'll do document-based questions that I can count as test grades. We will also have projects that will go, be worth 20% of their grade. And classwork is 30% of the grade. Uh, that's usually the easiest one for students to get as we have bell ringers and exit slips almost every day um, so that I can check in that the student is making progress before it reaches the exam period. And uh, we have a much bigger hole to dig ourselves out of. So, uh, that covers uh, Google Classroom. If you have any specific issues, you can add yourself to receive those parental emails uh, to of uh, weekly updates of how your student is doing. And the best advice I would give you is to ask and check in with your student, have a conversation with them, and have them show you their progress within all their classes. Uh, I do always accept makeup work uh, when their student is sick or otherwise. I do try to hold them to some uh, due dates and require them to make up work relatively expediently uh, so that we don't fall behind and it's actually useful for them to make up work from three months ago. It doesn't help anybody. Um, my extra help sessions are... Wednesdays, uh, 1.43 to 2.30, or by appointment. I am available numerous times throughout the day during my preps, or there is built in into the remote learning time where I can meet with students, um, as well as after school. I generally will be available for your student at any point if they make an appointment via email with me or through Classroom. Uh, I can share a link and have a one-on-one -on -one session with them. A uh, couple of other things that I would like you to know. There is a nice website where your student can access at clever.com uh, any of their Worcester schools resources. Uh, so they would sign on their student. I sign on under a staff member. And this is where they can access their textbook. Unfortunately, the textbook of Spanish version is less than par. So we won't be using it as much as uh, other classes may have, um, but it is a resource for them if they fall behind to access extra information or if something is confusing. Um, they will have it under this uh, McGraw-Hill app within the Clever app, and they can access the World History textbook in English with a Spanish uh, translation to it. However, again, it's not the best resource, so we won't be using it as much this year as uh, they may have used it in other classes. We also will be doing Ed Puzzles. Your son or daughter may be able to log on to this app in which they receive videos with questions that they have to answer around there. Um, these are a nice uh, way of pre-teaching the information before they get to class so that we can do more activities in my presence and we can really build higher order skills in, uh, while in class as opposed to spend our time uh, receiving basic information. Um, once again, any questions, I am available after school and my contact information is posted there. Uh, thank you for taking the time out of your schedule to check out our class. Um, we look forward to working with you.
throughout this year. Have a good night.